Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video on how to do a balancer. So I'm going to cover basically all the balancers right here uh, for like these common Haltech style balancers. So the way it works is if you have one like this that you solder your connections to, it's marked what it's for, LTO to begin with. This solder bridge right here is to turn it on and off so you can solder a wire and a switch in here to turn this balancer on and off and these are solder two wires so you'd solder all these wires together first and then you'd start with the B minus hooking them up so take your B minus lead that would go to B minus and then you would do B1 B2 B3, B4, B5, B6, as many as you're doing. Um, if you have one like this, which has a clip, you can wire all of your cells in the first place and then hook the clip up. Uh, there's also a solder bridge right here, which you can put a switch on and turn this balancer on and off. And on this side, you can desolder this NMC LFP, which is Life Depot 4, and like CMAX type cells, and move the solder bridge over to the center pad and LTO, and that will make it so you can use it on LTO. And some examples like here's a 4S Heltec balancer. You can see it's got the run light on. This one has the run soldered, which I could put a switch in there and then it would turn on and off. So how this is done is this one has a clip. So I pre-wired it and plugged the clip in and it's negative B1, B2, B3, B4. And the way this works is every series connection gets a lead and then the end connections. So on this bank it would be B minus, B1, B2, B3, B4 and you do them in that order if they're soldered together like this too. So it's a good habit to always start with your B minus then do B1, B2, B3, B4 B5, B6 if you're doing LTO. So LTO B B minus B1 B2 B3 B4 B5 B6. So uh, that should help most of you guys and hopefully answer your questions. I suppose I could do spims quick. So B minus, B1, B2, B3, B4. And thanks for watching. Uh, if you need a balancer, SriccoBatteries.com, discount code BDSB. Uh, we'll get you a discount on most of these balancers. And then uh, I got a video coming up soon on some cheap multimeters. These are the battery hookup ones. They're like four bucks a piece. And this is the Belva one with a folding screen. So we're going to compare them to a fluke and see how they do. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Out.